of the new farmers, they fail at one important level and that is seed level. At the seed level itself, the failure begins because they don't know the concept behind it. Now, for example, this is the surface of the media or whatever. You, every seed is not put at the same depth. You cannot plant a coconut seed at the same way you put a chili seed. There is a certain depth for different, different plants. So you have to understand, uh, that's again going to seed, but anyway, if you were to plant, suppose the depth, ideal depth for planting is one centimeter for seed. And by mistake you have planted it at two centimeter. Germination will take place. And you must remember, whichever way you put the seed, the stem will always look for light and the root will always look for the darkness. Very, if something happens other way around, that means it's something crazy. So, ten day, or say on the fifth day it has germinated, but you put it in the wrong depth. Now, for the stem to find light, it has to struggle, which means, I told you yesterday, that every seed has got certain nutrients and energy in it. It doesn't need your help. It will consume all that energy, looking for light, and when it pops up, what will happen? The stem will be very thin. And the stem will be so thin that it, the plant won't have strength to stay, stand, it will just fall off. So, what happens is, because it struggled to find light, because it had to travel one extra centimeter, what has happened is the plant becomes weak. That is why seeding depth is so important. So, here again, uh, for uh, the light is so important for a plant that it should break the surface at the right time. Otherwise, if you got 12,000 tomato plants in a greenhouse and you purchased each seed for 8 rupees, and you put it at the wrong depth, you lost one lakh there, straight away. There goes your money. So, that's why I talk about crop planning. In crop planning, you have to also see what is the depth at which I should plant.